Hey guys, this is Gavin Man. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today, um, we are back with the V8 Supercar series on Forza 7. Now, if, if at some points the video may seem a little shaky, um, that's because I am using a new um, way of recording. I'm using this kind of um, it's kind of a thing that holds your phone for you. Um, you put it on like a desk or you connect it onto like a desk or something. Um, I've never used this before. Um, so, this video is kind of a test run just to see how it works. But, um, if it's not too shaky, then you'll be seeing this video. Um, but other than that, so, um, um, if you remember last race, um, we were at Road Atlanta, which was a big race for me personally because I finished third after finishing last in the last two races. Um, which is big for just me as a driver, for my season. Three last place and a third, that can hopefully, um, that momentum will turn our season around, hopefully. Anyways, before I get into the points coming in this race and the race itself, I um, just want to announce that, yes, I ha now have, I have found two new paint schemes, um, and, um, and, yeah, um, first things first, yes, they do both have the double zero on them, which is good. Um, so with us having three paint schemes and ten races, I kind of wanted to split them evenly. Um, two paint schemes will get six races, we'll get three races each, and one paint scheme will get four races. The paint, the paint scheme that we have ran in the first three races, you will not see again, because that I decided to give that paint scheme only three races. So that first paint scheme in the first three races, you will not see again. This is one of our new paint schemes, and this paint scheme you will see four times. This race and three others, and the other new paint scheme I got, you will see three times. And out of the three paint schemes I have, personally, this one's my favorite. I love this paint scheme to death. I think it's really cool. I think it's a very nice contrast to the silver and black chrome of the last one. And this one's a flat, like, gray and black. I think it looks really nice. And you also have the highlights of the of the green there, which makes it look really nice. But... All that with that being out of the way, let's zoom and ask points. So going in this race, 10th in points with well, 12th in points with 10 points is Corey Floyd. 11th with 12 points is me. And 10th with 16 points is Carissa Misato. And 9th with 18 points is Daria Snowing. Um, 6th in points with 22 points is Oswald Snowing. Also, 6th in points with 22 points is Terrell Saunders. 5th in points with 23 points is Lane Dembogani. 4th in points with 24 points is Kurt Elliott. 3rd with 25 points is Alexa Patterson. 2nd with 26 points is Barrett Sims. And your points leader with 31 points is Connor Snelling. One of the newcomers who wasn't in PGR but is in V8 Supercars is the points leader. And he's the youngest driver in this series. So, yeah, we're all being sh um, showed up by the youngest driver. So, yay. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess coming into the season, we have two rookies, Corey Ford and Connor Snelling. Because they weren't in PGR. So, yeah. This with points being said, let's um get into the race. So today we are at Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Indianapolis 21. This is an eight lap race, and will be run on the Grand Prix Classic Circuit. It'll be run during the day, and hopefully it'll be a fun race. Um, race, that's race, paint schemes, points. Yeah, it's about everything. Alright, so with all that being said, let's get into the race. Chris and Asato will be starting to my inside. And 
green flag is in the air, the Olympics start in six. Here we go. We're going to sneak through those two and sneak into fourth here already after just turn one. Drifting in the beat supercars. Heck yeah, dude. Honestly, if we could just finish this race, I'm like, if we could get a top five, I'd just be ha I'd be happy with just that. again. Now we're going to come back onto the oval. And if you're not careful, you can ram into the tire barrier there. Trust me, I've done it a couple times myself. Oh, almost got the wall there. Alright, after one lap of A, we're in fourth. So it looks like the 23 of Doria Snowling is coming after me as I will get into the tire barrier there and in the grass. And it looks like I will slow up the entire field. It's, well, I'll slow up everyone behind me. wondering why I was so upset about the finish at Red Atlanta because well I was very confident that I could win that race very very confident like in the video you hear me say uh, I, think, I think we might actually have this shot at the top two at the top three maybe even at second place here meanwhile in my head I'm like we, we could we could win this race um I also had to plug up my butt about um Finishing second to Kurt Elliott when after watching the footage over again, I was like, I could have easily taken the lead if I had just pushed the car a little harder. So that's, and I didn't want to lose again at Road Atlanta, so that's why I was a little frustrated at that race. But I'm fine now. Um, I'm good. I just need a little time off in the game. But as far as y'all know, I because I think I'm pretty sure y'all know this by now. But I record all my my videos. I record in all one session, and then I'll upload those videos um over the next few days. So yeah. About over the past like four days or something, that I've been playing a lot of like Cold Wars. I've been playing a lot of Black Ops Cold War, which is a very fun game. I have my gripes about it, but other than that, it's a really fun game. Even with how much it doesn't seem like it, it very much feels like classic zombies. Like, to me, it feels like a mix between World at War and Black Ops 1. Very fun game, and uh, oh, okay. I went a little wide in that turn, apparently. Oh god. Okay, Carissa, calm down. All right. Let's let's calm down here. God, everyone like six on back is, is so close together. I literally just saw my race end before my very eyes. It feels like we've been running around this track for like five hours already, and we've only th we're only three laps in.
something that dawned on me between, um, between recording sessions was that I should probably should have watched on some V8 supercar footage so I know what kind of tracks they race at instead of just having to completely guess on all the tracks. Because I'd say all but one track I put on these cars worked at. It just occurs to me I did not test these cars at Silverstone. I replaced Yas Marina with um, Silverstone. I'm like, Silverstone will be fine. In reality, I haven't tested them at Silverstone either. So I should probably do that. I might do that in between races if I, if I remember. So far, we're doing we're doing all right. I mean, fifth is out where I wanted to run. So yeah, um, car feels great. Definitely one of the better feeling cars we've had so far this season. And it looks like I'm in the grass again. Gonna not try to hit the higher bear as I hit it again. That's twice in one race. God, I'm so bad. Oh god. Let's drift. Dang it. I wanted to drift again. I feel like in an alternate universe, NASCARs look like V8 supercars. Like, I could legit see NASCARs looking like this. I just get a NASCAR vibe from V8 supercars, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's the fact that they are also V8s, just like NASCARs. If they're big, if it's because they're also big and bulky, like Max cars. I don't know what it is, but there's just, I just get a feeling of NASCAR from V8 supercars. God, I love this paint scheme. This paint scheme looks so cool. All right, let's do not go in the grass again this time. All right, slow down a good amount. There we go. I'm slowly but surely learning this race as we only have three laps to go. As we're a little over three, 13 minutes into this video. Alright. Honestly, I think I prefer these cars not in the rain, but that's just me. But yeah, I think that's just because of my bad experience with these things at Nurburgring and no rain. That was not a fun time for me. But, but with a completely dry track, these things are very fun. Heck yeah, drifting. Let's go first person here. Yeah. so fast as we have two, two, two laps to go as the leader is 20 seconds ahead of me. What is this nonsense? I don't know what's going on anymore. Carissa Sato has fallen, fallen down a position. She's fallen down to seven. Um, no, now she's back to, what, what's going on? How's she already back up to fifth? Or how is she already back up to six and on my bumper when a lap was good? When literally just one turn ago she was. What happened to the train that was in front of her? I guess maybe he wrecked 
I know that was one of the 22s, and I make contact with Carissa. All right. Carissa, now I'm starting to think you might hate me, and I completely understand why. All right. God, I've got that turn figured out. Still a little um, slidey in these turns, in the S's here. This video might be a little shorter than I thought it was going to be. Alright, white flag here at the brickyard. Also, so the ball say this is my favorite race. I'm pretty sure more likely than not we will have a better race somewhere down the line. Is Carissa still just right there? If I make a mistake, she could easily go around me. One more, we got one more turn and then the S's, and then we get back onto the Opal. God, I see fourth up there. I think I'm, have I been closing on fourth? Or am I just going insane here? No, well, maybe I have. I don't know. Alright, that's going to do it for Indianapolis here, as we will come out in turn four and down the front stretch for fifth place finish. You know what? I'm happy with that. I'm very happy. Honestly, I just wanted to be able to run. I just wanted to run around fifth. And what do you know? It's about where, that's where I finished. Alright, so I'm going to write down the finishing results and the um, point standings. And I'll be right back. All right, so I have written down the points for this. I have written down everyone's finishing results and points. Um, so, yeah, um, so finishing results, getting us first. No, becoming the first driver to win multiple races. Um, is Connor Snelling. And he did it faster than I did in PGR. Connor Snelling is on fire right now, ladies and gentlemen. Finishing second is Oswald Snelling, his big brother. Finishing third is Angus Morris. Finishing fourth is the middle Snelling child, and that is Daria Snelling. Finishing fifth is me. Finishing sixth is Cardi San Asalto. Um, finishing 7th is Alexa Patterson, finishing 8th is Kurt Elliott, finishing ninth is Terrell Saunders, finishing 10th is Langdon Pagani, finishing 11th is Corey Floyd, and finishing last is Barrett Sims. So overall, this race was a lot better than I was expecting, um, which didn't really expect from that, that's more something I expect from the rain races, but what, what do you know? So, now we get to points, and now we come to a driver who's already first in points, building on that points lead. So last, in, we're going to go from bottom to top. Last in points with 12 points is Corey Floyd, 11th with 20 points is me. Still second, last, second to last in points, but I'm building on that lead. I'm, build, I'm climbing my way up slowly. As one good race could easily pass me into 10th here. 10th with 23 points is Carissa Nisato. 
April 20, we have a two-way tie for eight. On the bottom of that tie is Lincoln Magani with 26. No, he's on the top. On the bottom is Terrell Saunders. Now we have a two-way tie for six because, yay, I love ties. I don't know how these happen. Especially with the tie for 26, with the, the tie for 8th, literally it, um, first I do best average finish, they have the same average finish, I go, then I go for the best, um, high, I go for the highest finish, they both have the same highest finish of both having two second place finishes. So I'm like, what do I do now? So I just, so then I decided, how about whoever came into this race highest in points, and Langdon Nudge by coming into this race one position higher than Terrell. So on the bottom of the sixth place tie with 27 points is um, Daria Snelling, and sixth is um, Barrett Sims. Um, fifth with 29 points is Kurt Elliott. Fourth with 30 points is Angus Morse. Third with 31 points is Alexa Patterson. Second with 33 points is Oswald Snelling. And building on the lead, Oswald's little brother, with 48 points is Connor Snelling. I mean, he came into this race first in points with like a five point lead. And then you take that five point lead and add 17 points to it. Now he has like a 15 point lead over second place. So yeah, it's, in, it's insane. He's off to a big start. So that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope you join us next time um, for race five of 10. So I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.